Hello again everybody and continuing with my theme of festivals and religions uh, today I'm going to talk about another Greek one um, this time it's a rather odd business altogether and this is the cult of the Eleusinian Mysteries now it's hard to know exactly what went on with this cult because as its name suggests it was all very secretive it was a mystery Devotees were not supposed to reveal information, although some inevitably uh, was revealed. Then there's a bit of archaeology. It clearly relates to the myth of Demeter and Persephone, which itself is clearly related to the passing of the agricultural year, the passing of the seasons, and with that, the whole notion of fertility. It may well be that by the classical period, say the 5th century onwards, uh, its origins and meaning were actually lost to the devotees and it had taken on various other trappings as well, borrowed from other cults and practices perhaps. So what do we actually know? Well, there was a procession. How many ancient religions involved processions? Uh, it went from Athens, the 20 kilometres, uh, over the hills, via the sea, uh, to Eleusis. When they got there, the participants uh, where there was a purification ritual in the sea, a bit sort of like a quasi-baptism, I guess. Uh, then there was a period of fasting. Then there was a procession to a building called the Telesterion, the, hell, uh, the Hall of the Mysteries, in which probably a drama was enacted uh, telling the story of Demeter and Persephone. And this is one of the things that we don't know actually for sure. Um, now, in doing that, this was uh, to do with the, the abduction of Persephone by her uncle Hades going down to the underworld, but subsequent uh, rebirth because she was only in the underworld for six months of the year. So the idea where, uh, when Persephone came out of the underworld, that was the beginning of spring and the period of rebirth, resurrection almost. So one of the attractions of uh, belonging to the mystery cult of Eleusis was clearly the elaborate ritual that went on with it and the also also the attraction of being in the know about a great secret uh, but it also promised the idea of some form of eternal life this idea of being in on the great secret there's lots of religions which have a, what's called a gnostic aspect to them from the classical world uh, it even relates uh, at one period to some uh, sort of adherence or peripheral hangers-on of Christianity. Um, but the idea of belonging, certainly belonging to a cult, certainly didn't, uh, that didn't chime with the more mainstream Greek religious beliefs of the time. There also seems to have been some suggestion of uh, participants receiving visions of the beyond, which has led some modern scholars to suggest that drug taking may have been involved. Now, the etymology of the name Eleusis seems to connect with uh, the Greek word Eleutheria, which means freedom or release. And some say that is the idea of being uh, released from our earthly lot, albeit temporarily. Some have suggested parallels and comparisons with other Middle Eastern or Near Eastern cults, including the worship of Isis and Osiris in Egypt, and also cults uh, of other people like Adonis in Syria and uh, cults in Persia too. We simply cannot know. The cult was mocked by Aristophanes in the play The Frogs, where the chorus of initiates uh, is a sort of secondary chorus alongside the frogs. Uh, nowadays, when this play is produced, they're sometimes realised as rather sort of stoned out, hit, bombed out hippie types. Um, and that, that I guess is kind of a nod in the direction of drug taking. In 415, 414 BC, the young Athenian aristocrat Alcibiades uh, was prosecuted for two reasons. One for vandalising statues of Hermes, knocking the phallus off the front of them, and also violating the mysteries, the Eleusinian, Eleusinian mysteries, by imitating them uh, in his house. And again, some scholars have suggested that that might uh, be uh, an allegation of private drug taking. It's not great for anybody that, uh, and certainly not desirable in someone who's about to set off as a leader of the Athenian expedition to Sicily. So he was eventually prosecuted and before it came to trial he ran away and crossed sides and went to Sparta. 
the Eleusinian mystery cult continued to be popular right throughout the classical period until it was eventually banned at the end of the 4th century uh, by the now Christianized uh, emperors of Rome. But even uh, the Emperor Augustus was said to have been an initiator, and that's referred to in a Horace Ode. And he was said to have been quite good at keeping his mouth shut, at being a discreet uh, initiate. What then was its attraction? Well, it offered ranks of membership, uh, a sort of hierarchy. It's almost like a career path within the cult. It offered the idea of personal membership and a sense of belonging, which the more public Olympian uh, religions did not. And it offered in some way, either psychotropic or perhaps psychological, the prospect of a life more than this one. And there's always an attraction in that.